Patrick Taylor, ProPath Financial. Welcome back to my classroom. We're talking about Roth IRAs, the beautiful, beloved Roth IRA, arguably the greatest long-term savings vehicle that we have. But just like anything else, there are some rules, specifically the five-year rule that goes unnoticed. The reason it usually goes unnoticed is because it's extremely complex. There's some additional points that you need to evaluate so you can have a tax-free distribution. That's the point of a Roth IRA is in the future, you can take all the money out, including any earnings tax-free. But to do that, you got to meet some rules. And specifically, the five-year rule comes into play and in being able to hold the Roth IRA for long enough before you can access earnings tax-free or have tax-free distributions and those types of things. So let's go over four rules. Always consult with a CPA or an advisor but always consult with a CPA on how to distribute funds from a Roth IRA. The biggest takeaway you need to know, or the biggest thing you can take away from this is track everything that goes in and out of your Roth IRA. It'll make more sense in a second, but if you're gonna have a Roth IRA, you gotta make sure to track what's going in and coming out of your Roth IRA. Conversions, contribution, earnings, all of it because they all work a little bit differently. But if you meet the rules, doesn't matter. It all comes out tax-free. So let's talk about it. Roth IRA five-year rules. First thing, for these rules, you aggregate all your Roths. So if you have Roth IRAs at different financial institutions, you got to aggregate them all. It's not just one Roth. The IRS views your IRAs as one big pot of IRAs. They don't care if it's broken up at different institutions. The distribution order so when you're pulling money out of a Roth IRA, this is why you need to track. The distribution order is what matters first. Contributions come out first because those come out tax-free. Next come any converted dollars if you have anything. So throughout your lifetime, if you took any IRA dollars, converted them, you paid tax on them in that year and put the proceeds into the Roth IRA, that's a conversion. Those would come out second. Earnings come out third. So a favorable distribution strategy. For the distributions out of a Roth to be tax-free, there's a few things that need to be met. Two specifically. One, you need to be 59 and a half, disabled, a first-time home buyer, or deceased. That's one. Two, you need to meet the five-year holding period, which means you had to have had the Roth IRA open for five years. Five-year holding period. If you want to dive in deeper, just go to Google, five-year holding period, Roth IRA, five-year holding period. Go to irs.gov, five-year holding period. Continuing on with the five-year, if you're under 59 and a half, that five-year rule applies to converted funds. So going back, if you had converted dollars, converted funds need to have that five-year rule if you're under age 59 and a half. So they need to be in there for five years, essentially, from the date of the conversion. If you're over 59 and a half, no weight on those converted funds. So just little details from how I understand it. If anybody listens to this video this far, if you're a CPA or an advisor or anybody that's an IRA specialist, double check my work for me. I love to know where I'm wrong. But these are really valuable resources to know if you have Roth IRAs and you're thinking about taking distributions in the future. Always complex, but can be extremely valuable. You just got to play by the rules. Let me know if you have any additional questions. I'd love to let you know. If you want to know where I got all this information, let me know as well. I can send that over to you. Thanks for watching.